Hey guys, it's Jet888 here. It is February 5th. I think this is funny. I'm just showing you this uh, simple Gematria. 174 equals faked energy crisis. These also equal 174 in simple Gematria. New World Order, Yuval Noah Harari, and Trust the Plan. These are the numbers in English and simple Gematria, which is always the same um, word, I guess. So 1044 and 174. You'll find out is also in that category. Remember when the um, news reporters asked Trump when he mentioned the storm? And they said, what storm, Mr. President? What storm? And he goes, you'll find out. That's also 174 in simple Gematria. Just a few more funny things I want to show you. Okay, remember the Winnie the Pooh, how he always had that balloon remember that and balloon if you look at an anagram it's a loon lab you know what that word loon what kind of reminds me of is is these uh the looney tunes characters by warner brothers and if we look at the anagram real quick for looney tunes elon nets you isn't that kind of funny elon nets you and Elon's satellite uh, company is called Starlink. And the anagram for Starlink is install RK. One group I found called RK is the um, national leader in culinary and hospitality services. Culinary. Like the metaverse, the anagram is serve meat. Like little foghorn leghorn here. So when I looked at that RK for the install RK, one of the groups I found was this. This RK is a national leader in culinary uh, services. And if you scroll down, look at that rosemary, like Rosemary's Baby, Rosemary's Catering. And here is an RK emergency management support. Notice how it has a chess piece there like a rookie, a chess piece. But here's what they do. It tells you about them. There's their big chess piece, emergency management support. This is RK. There's their logo. And they share some of their history. And look at this. It's kind of like a little internment camp. All those little um, cargo shipping containers. This one's deployment is in Georgia. Isn't Georgia where um, Obama had all those guillotines? So remember the whole mer um, meat thing? The whole, just, it seems like the whole consuming of us, the cannibalism kind of um, theme seems to continue on. Remember the anagram for that one? The CV, carnivorous. Remember when Klaus Schwab mentioned the stakeholders? Lots of his meetings are mentioning the stakeholders. They're focusing on that. Look at the uh, anagram for uh, stakeholders. Leashed stork. There you go. The leashed stork. Brought to you by... Looks like an empty, empty satchel there. No more baby. So I think it's kind of funny you go from uh, Klaus Schwab stakeholders and then you look at that word spelled like that, steak, as in meta, as in meat, stakeholders, and you look at the anagram for that and it's K-shot dealers and the K in Gematria, K equals 10 and so does AI, but so does CDC. There's the CDC, it also equals what K equals. So I just thought that was sort of interesting. The CDC shot dealers or AI shot dealers and, um, hmm. And this is sort of weird too. The um, Stork Club, guess what? This is in the CIA Digital Collections. And there's a club called the Stork Club in New York. And I wonder if you look close enough at this chimney if you'll see a broom hole there. I don't know. But the uh, Stork Club was all about menus, and um, I think it had a lot of other weird things going on.
It was part of the Culinary Institute of America in New York. I'm on, on page 53 here on this Internet Archive, archive.org. It talks about this restaurant, and they talk about Kennedy's assignations and uh, as their open secrets. It's, this reads here, um, the hyperactive young war hero waited in his car to drive home one or another of the Stork Club beauties, including a girl who, among other favors, cooked him steak dinners. Billings, as sharp-eyed as Yetta, stopped him outside one night and couldn't resist, a resist asking, sorry about the tongue tie, having steak tonight? Anyhow, I think there is a lot to this um, Stork Club that we don't know about. So page 255 of this Stork Club book mentions how some of the um, tables were wired for microphones. Bingsley. And he's, look him up. That's interesting. Anyhow, I'm just saying, a lot of this weird stuff kind of um, keeps cir circling around these weird um, words. But a lot of dealings um, went on there with, here's the Hollywood crowd. And the uh, Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Anyhow, that's just one thing related to the Stork Club. An anagram for Stork is Torsk. And Torsk is a codfish. What do you think of when you hear the word codfish? So this little site called snowflakebooks.co.uk, where England, everything, uh, witchcraft and stuff is in England. But this is, why is Peter Pan called Captain Hook? Why did he call Captain Hook codfish? So this is either written by AI or uh, someone who doesn't comprehend English very well. So, But Peter Pan called Captain Hook codfish. And the reason why this says... Newfoundland cod used to be caught, salted, and dried in large numbers, and in this form was a common diet for sailors and others. On a long voyage, the codfish might become unpleasant to eat, so the word would be a term of abuse for someone. So calling Hook a codfish could be saying he's rotten and smelly. But if it's a term of abuse for someone, look at that stork from the Stork Club. Hmm, look at that. Is that holding, like, someone's wrist? I don't know. What would that be holding? But going back to this RK um, thing, because of the word RK installed by Starlink, this RK deployment um, center is, let's see, if it um, deals with FEMA. And all these are um, partners and agencies with HHS, DOD, FEMA, DOE, CISA, I don't know what that is, sorry, certs and certs, etc. FEMA, FAME. Oh, and this is interesting. RK Emergency Management Support continues to build upon recent prior experience with high volume missions and extended deployment durations which include residential shelter and food services for among others and look at how it's grown look how the number of these base camps has grown from 2016-17 it's a 162 day base camp mission with 2000 peak population and now we're up here 2021 multiple base camp missions currently ongoing huh any of you visit any family members in these RK um, bases? I wonder where those are. Where are we finding those? And this, talking about leader and culinary events, um, they give this, the rkgroup.com link. This is an aerial shot. Are these um, shipping containers, I wonder? Looks like it. Since there's a mission, the RKEMS mission is to rapidly deploy and operate facilities that sustain relocated and displaced persons. 
Let me show another little setup, and of course you've got a star in the back there. Anyhow, here shows some um, information on management. President is Jennifer Hines, as in the Hines ketchup, as in what looks like blood. There's her number and email if you want to ask her what they're up to. Here's, that's my little horse in the background. There's director of sales. Who is that? Karen Carlos. Carlos. Ah, like they're trying to get rid of our vehicles. You know, the EV. Do you know the, um, let me see, an anagram for COVID-19 is EV innocent die. EV as in electric vehicles. Just saying. Julie Skinanador. There's her number. If you want to find out uh, where you can talk to these people and see if they're safe, that'd be kind of interesting. Here's DNA Lie Gifford. Here's, uh, there's UN, M-U-N, a war. This is just interesting. Oh, and also earlier this morning, I was trying to look up some um governmental information paperwork and look at this this is the uh, state.gov report we're sorry the site is currently experiencing technical difficulties please try again in a few moments let's see if they've re um, linked themselves up anyhow they're offline so is that uh, representation Remember what they say about taxation no representation I love that star of David in there Okay, so I just refreshed this page, and it's again, it's still um, experiencing technical difficulties. So here's the digital world. They want you to um, get your digital ID, and yet they're experiencing all these technical difficulties. What if that was you? you your digitized self, and you couldn't access your information. This is where I'm at. State.gov forward slash report forward slash custom forward slash D3. C nine eight five nine eight E five. If you want to check that out, yep, nope. has we don't have service there. So you know, going back to that balloon, that Loon Lab um, incident that we saw a couple days ago. There's the anagram for Winnie the Pooh, and I hope non-white. Um, one thing that made that remind me of this is kind of comment the white. Um, comment is that was she a sinister senator let me go look and i posted this in my uh, community page i don't know if you could see it though i don't know if it was being shown because i know i'm being shadow bound but this carol baker she is let's see she's the cdc appointed chair this appointed chair of cdc advisory committee on immunization practices in 2009. Now this is back in 2009, but I think this video, I think when she said this was 2016. I'm reading part of this. It says the battle is being fought. One family, one physician, one health center. She said that's why we're doing as well as we are. We're talking about minority and strategies against the minorities. So I have the solution. Every study published in the last five years when you look at vaccine refusers I'm not talking about well hesitance coming to terms but refusers will just get rid of all the whites in the United States so we'll get rid of the whites in the United States and her not her last name remember it's Baker like the uh, butcher the baker. Now we got the candlestick maker with the energy crisis. So here's the energy crisis. The uh, numerology is equivalent to 50%, which I don't really know what that means, but supply change. I think we all know what that means as the uh, shelves are bare. The World Series, the Trump card, and I am the Phoenix. So there you've got the uh, anagram for energy crisis, which is seer syringes. And you know what seer, seer means? There's the first meaning about a waxy covering at the base of the upper bill for a bird, but it says wrap up in a seer cloth. 
Here's a picture of a seer cloth. It's for wrapping the dead. So this quickly shows, it says a seer cloth, strips of fabric impregnated with wax. There's your uh, honeycomb, their beehive, wax, and wrapped snugly around the body to exclude air. Remember that whole saying, I can't breathe? Anyhow, um, let's see, this method of preservation was so prevalent that cerement became a synonym for grave cloths. Oh my gosh, is that Hillary Clinton? No. See so here's seer cloth, historical waxed cloth used for wrapping a corpse. So when they cause the energy crisis, you know what they're doing. They're uh, getting ready to wrap us all in with uh, seer cloths from those syringes that we've been needle crafted with. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn my camera off. But anyhow, when I see this uh, Winnie the Pooh and I hope non-whites and I see the balloon and the balloon loon lab and what we've been seeing with all the fiascos with the oligarchs running the show, talking about stakeholders and um, I don't know. I guess when you just look at the words and twist them around a little bit, you kind of get a whole nother story. At least I do. And when today, just to kind of look at Montana, um, kind of wondering why they picked Montana to, because I know the balloon that they're talking about a couple days ago didn't start at Man Montana, but I did notice this plane, it's a cargo plane, and it is by Cathay Pacific Cargo. Does anyone find it interesting that the word Cathay sounds like cafe? But also, if you look at Cathay as the anagram, it's a yacht, like what the elites, um, you know, boat around in, a yacht. And a yacht, the numerology, first thing on the list is they, same exact numerology. So there's your they, those elites, the oligarchs that flop around on the yachts. It's also frequencies. It's also that sign of the beast. You can look at the one on top too if you want. One more weird one, 513, the first Noel. Noel can be Elon, the first Elon. And 58 in simple gematria is star. We've seen that a lot, star. And why is that balloon floating poo so white? Actually, it's just weird. Isn't that weird? He's white. Normally, they show him as being yellow. And when I look at the anagram for that, and I just did a really quick thing. I didn't look at too many others. So, um, Cathay Pacific Cargo is AAG, as in agriculture, Pacific Octarchy. Octarchy? Octarchy? I don't know how you say that. Octarchy, plural. A government by eight persons. Confederacy of Anglo-Saxon kingdoms considered as having eight, eight people. And I just thought it was interesting when I looked more at Cathay Pacific Cargo, just to see these cargo planes are kind of interesting to me. Um, they provide a range of air cargo solutions, including animal, pharmaceutical, secure, and dangerous goods to major cities worldwide. And they're actually heading up to um, Washington, where Mr. Gates um, resides. He might actually have a place in La Jolla now, but um, Microsoft's up there, I think. And this flight started in Houston, Texas, so that's just kind of weird. Just some of the cities I saw being flown over on this flight was weird. Tin Sleep, there's your Crow Agency, and there's your Roundup, all to go with that um, Roundup, to go with that RK the FEMA camps. And I know this video, if I'm even going to post it, um, it was more just therapeutic, just talking about stuff, but for me, not probably for you guys. Um, but so here's the uh, military advice to President Biden telling him, do not shoot down the balloon. I know, I think they eventually did, but here's all the peoples, including heads of Pentagon, the secretary. They made the strong recommendation not to take action. And he listened, of course, until he didn't. And I think lots of eyes should be on this guy right here, Secretary Antony Blinken. Blinken, I think we should be looking at him.
really closely. This guy really closely. Look at him. Okay. Oh yeah, it's interesting too because Secretary Antony Blinken, his father, Maurice H. Blinken, um, was interesting because at age 39, let's see, he was born in Russia. He came over and lived in New York. Um, and he had a servant called Helen Flynn, who is a white woman. She worked 66 hours a week and got $700 a year. Anyhow, I just thought that was interesting. That family is interesting. You should look at it. Look closely. All right. 